Hey guys, let me kind of talk about this for a little bit of time. So, if you really are a fan of cryptids, if you really are a fan of MetaZoo, you should actually be really happy right now because you can pick up these cards for really pennies on the dollar. I mean, based on what Alpha Investment was selling these boxes at Nightfall boxes for $600 plus dollars, you can pick one up for like $20, $30 on eBay, pay a little bit for shipping. You can go on TCG Player. You can see uh, the $100 native is market price $55. You can see Nightfall is $46. And actually, the prices are going down every day. Uh, but there is plenty of inventory. There is no supply issue. You don't have to pre-order this. I know MetaZoo people will be like, Man, we got a pre-order. No, no, no. This is actual inventory that you can buy and get, have it shipped out the next day. You don't need to wait. So I don't really understand the disappointment in the MetaZoo community. Because in my opinion, this is actually really, really good stuff. Right? I'm, let me kind of explain where my head is on this, right? Um, if you love cryptids, there's a chance. There is more than enough inventory out there for it all the MetaZoo current fans to buy into. There is more than enough promo cards. I mean, the market is flooded with product right now. If, so one, I love two dead, I love free dead card games. Meta X, which is a DC property by Panini. I love um, Inuyasha TCG, and I love uh, Fire Emblem Cypher especially. I'm a huge Fire Emblem fan. I love the video games. I played. I spent a lot of money on Fire Emblem Mobile. One of the things that I regret most is I only came into a card game two to three years after the card game went belly up. Essentially, they said, you know what? We have a mobile app. We no longer need the card game to raise money. And the card game was never in English, so it was only in Japanese. I wish it was in English. And my biggest regret was I didn't learn about it until it went belly up. Until two to three years later, a lot of these collections that were insanely difficult right now, like I'm, you know, trying to eBay my auction way, they just don't exist. They don't hit the marketplace for any amount of money. So I'm not saying these collections are super valuable. I'm not saying that they are even uh, that desired. The what I'm saying is. That they are not a, that you are not able to see these collections, and I wish we were. I, I really wish that I was able to see this stuff. To be honest with you, because at the end of the day, I love Fire Emblem Cipher. Just like a lot of people like cryptids, a lot of people in MetaZoo think I'm like their worst enemy. No, I'm not. Not at this stage. I'm not. At this stage, Alpha Investments already called you guys losers. It's never investable, as he said, and anyone who thought it was investable or is an idiot and a loser, essentially, reading in between the lines. And right now, it's an interesting time to collect. I really wish that when Fire Emblem went belly up, I had purchased everything. For the prices that they were doing, there were cards that I paid $100, $200 for that were selling for $5, $10. At this particular point, am I saying that these cards are going up to the moon? No, Five Emblem Cipher has one huge problem: is liquidity. I am the only person buying it, to my knowledge, on eBay. You know, I I always bid the most. I always win the card, and there's like very little opposition to me. And when I'm buying on Facebook Marketplace and so on, I mean, I am the largest buyer, and so I kind of just set the price, which I I think it's high, but I don't see it very often, so I'm not going to lose it. So my point is. Um, <laughs> you know, very... Oh, wow, MetaZoo had mystery boxes? <laughs> Can you imagine a MetaZoo mystery box? Oh, yikes. Um, oh, yeah, I can imagine. It would be probably, what, Rudy Chan 6.9? So, okay, this one at least is $7.99, okay? It, it's not the uh, $700 mystery box. But like I said, a lot of these MetaZoo people, they, they hate me, but I don't know why. At this current stage in time, I'm telling you right now is a good time to buy some of the grails. And yes, the things are going to get cheaper. Yes, they're going to get less liquid. There will be less interest two years from now. But the grails won't be there. They won't ever hit the market. What is happening today is people buying today are never going to sell. 
they're just going to keep it as part of their collection unless a catastrophe happens and now they sell the whole. The the reason I I you know in Fire Emblem Cipher, I had to buy boxes and open all my SR, but which is the rarity. It's, it's whatever matters who Kickstarter is. It's a, the highest rarity in the game. I had to open probably. I mean, I have the boxes in my bedroom or in my closet, bedroom closet. It's like a thousand, two thousand box, some insane amount. I don't really remember some insane amount. Of, I hate opening boxes and I hate bulk. I would much rather just buy these singles and 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 so on. I'm here to tell you something that Alpha Investment will never tell you. The time to buy something that you love isn't when it's to the moon, it's at $680, $200. The time to buy it is when other people don't love it as much. You know, it's the same with magic cards and so on. And for, I mean, it's no different than how I collect. I, I collect free dead card games still actively today. And I'm still bidding. I can tell you right now, I just won a... Uh, this week, I won a signed Lucina. You can check it on eBay. The account is MTG Lion. Um, I won a signed Lucina for about 65 and then like we're shipping 70 And I won a a deck with Blyleth, the free houses or free kingdoms, whatever it's called, deck. I'm still buying these dead card games, but like if more came out, I would buy them all. But it's a drip. It's a drip, a drip. I mean, you might see one or two good listings at auction and, and I missed the time where everyone was fire selling their fire emblem cipher. I missed the time when people were fire selling their uh, Inuyasha. Like if I had known, cause the idea that you guys have is kind of wrong. The idea is, oh, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait. The problem is very simple. If I buy, oh, here's native for thirty five dollars. Isn't this the one hundred dollar Rudy set? If you keep waiting, the people who are buying and outbidding you today, eventually, eventually, at some point in time, supply is going to run out. It will run out. And there won't be any more to open. And this is the problem I have. Inuyasha is a dead card game for 20 years. It is impossible for me to get booster boxes or booster. It's like a 12 pack. It's a box, right? It's very difficult to get collections. It's very, I have to win these stupid things on eBay all the time. And I can never like focus on it. You know, I just set a high bid way over what I think it's worth. You will regret not buying some. If you truly love cryptids, don't buy when it's $8,200 a kit. Buy when it's $8 a kit, $80 a kit, whatever it is. Like if you truly are a fan of this game, you should be very happy that these prices are cheap and you can open boxes for almost nothing. I have looked at MetaZoo in great detail and I might buy it. Um, you know, having free card, dead card games, as funny as it sounds, it's not enough because the amount of Meta X, very rare inventory. Fire Emblem Cipher, more, more common, but just it's pretty rare. And then, of course, uh, Inuyasha, rare as hen's teeth. Anyway, hi guys.